Alright guys, welcome to your 30 second JavaScript tutorial and in this lesson I'm going to be showing you guys how to play and pause your movie. So remember, in the last tutorial what we did is we added an event listener called play or pause to this play button. So basically whenever the user clicks this play button right here, a function called play or pause is going to fire. So this isn't a function that's built in already, we actually need to build this function ourselves. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So go ahead and add the word function and hit play or pause and this function isn't going to take any parameters it's just going to do some grunt work. Now the very first thing we need to do is we need to determine if the movie is playing already. Now if the movie is playing and they hit this button then it's going to pause the movie. However if the movie hasn't even started yet or if it's paused whenever they hit this button it's going to start playing again. So again the first thing we need to do is determine the status of the movie is this movie playing and we do that with a simple if statement. So we say if and the very first thing we need to do is we need to reference the movie itself and we do that by referencing my movie. Now remember the variable my movie is a direct reference to this video right here. So in order to determine if the video is playing or not we do this. If my movie is paused and let me just go ahead and copy this and my movie is ended. Now a couple things I want to take note of this little explanation point in case you forget it means the opposite so we're pretty much saying okay if my movie or if the video right here is not paused and if the movie is not ended then it must be playing so after this if statement we want to write all the code that what do we want to happen if they clicked this button while the video was playing well if they click that button while the video was playing the first thing that we need to do is pause the movie so go ahead and hit my movie and call a function called pause and another thing I want to point out here is HTML5 in JavaScript gives us a lot of default functions if you spell them correctly and one of those functions is pause so we don't need to program this pause function later on it already comes built into your browser so whenever you apply this pause function to a video it's gonna go ahead and pause the video itself so the very first thing we want to do is pause the movie. Now what we want to do after that is we want to change the text on the button. So if this movie is paused, then we want to turn this into a play button. However, as the video is playing, we want to make the text on this button say pause because as the video is playing, you can't have a play button because what would it do? The video is already playing. No need to press any buttons, Haas. So, all right, our movie is just paused. We paused it in that line of code. So how do we access the text on the button? Well, we know how to access it right here, but how do we get there through JavaScript? Well, the very first thing we need to do is we need to reference the play button itself. So the play button is referenced to this variable right here, and the property to access is called inner HTML. Now, whatever we set this equal to is this inner HTML property is pretty much accessing the text on the button. So what do we want the text on the button to say? Well, we want it to say play. Why do we want it to say play? Because our movie is paused already, so whenever they hit this again, it's going to say play and our movie's going to play. You'll see later on. And the last thing I'm going to do is this is kind of weird teaching you guys this because I didn't make the set interval function yet, but just follow along for now. You guys will understand what's going on in about uh, like 90 seconds. So window clear interval whoa take it easy caps locks interval and this takes a couple parameters actually update bar I'm just gonna put one for now and okay like I said I'm gonna tell you guys what this means because this is like part two of something and I didn't even get to part one yet so once I you know explain that it's gonna make sense so this is the code what happens whenever your movie is playing but what if your movie is paused or what if the movie had ended well then we want that code to happen in this else block right here so if the movie is paused or if the movie has ended then whenever they click that play button then the first thing we want to do is of course 
play the movie. So instead of pausing the movie, we're just going to go ahead and copy this and change it to play. Now play is another built-in function that came with JavaScript. Now whenever you use this play function on a video, then the video starts playing, of course. Now as the video is playing, we don't want a play button to pop up right here because why would you need to click a play button if the video is already playing? It would be much more handy if you had a pause button so you could pause that video. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be updating the text on the button but changing it to pause. So as the video is playing, you want a pause button. Now this last thing I want to go ahead and talk about right now. What we want to do is we're going to be having that update bar remember not this yellow bar but we have a separate blue bar that progress bar we want that to basically change the width as our video is playing so in order to change the width we need to call a function over and over again like pretty much every second because we want that bar to update every second so in order to call a function every second you do something called set interval now go ahead and make a variable called update bar and set this equal to a function called set interval now set interval takes two different parameters the first parameter it takes is what function do you want to call now the next function we're going to be building in the next tutorial is called update and this function is basically going to change the size of our progress bar and now the next parameter it takes is how often do you want to call this function in milliseconds so 500 millisecond is every half a second 1000 milliseconds is every one second so basically we're saying okay every half a second we want you to update the size of that progress bar on the bottom so therefore as we're watching the video we can watch it grow and grow and grow and now I can explain this little bit of code what this means right here is pretty much stop updating the bar because when our movie is paused we don't need to change the width of that bar so that's why we're saying clear the interval stop updating everything so again um yeah I think that's pretty much it so basically play or pause changes the text on the button whenever your video is playing and you hit that button it's gonna pause it change the word to play and it's gonna stop updating because when the video is paused you don't need to change the size of that bar however when your video is not playing yet or it's paused and you hit that button right here it's gonna start playing your video and it's going to change the text of this button to pause and it's also going to start changing the size of that little progress bar that little blue bar on the bottom so now that we got that button taken care of in the next tutorial we're going to be covering this update method or the update function rather which is pretty much going to be responsible for changing the size of pixels of the width of that progress bar it's going to be amazing and again I want to stress one last time before I let you guys go if you have any trouble with this code or if you're getting any errors then I'm gonna be copying all this code and posting it on my forum so you can just go ahead and copy it throw it in if you're too lazy to type it or else you know you're getting a bunch of errors just go ahead and copy it so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe we got like two more tutorials to go until we made the best video player ever so thank you guys and I'll see you next time